Hey guys, YDCB here with some more Summoner's War action. So me being the idiot that I am, forgot to show you the runes on Driller yesterday. So these are his stats. The thing is he awakens into resistance. It would be nice if he awakened to crit rate, though it's kind of hard to get high crit rate. To get high crit rate, you kind of gimp other stats. So I've got about more than 200% of his defense. He's a HP type monster with only 10,000 HP. So it's kind of weak stats. The only reason really for six starring Driller is because he's fun to look at. He's on double guard will. I would have have him on violent, but then I thought if I go violent, I would waste the defense buff from counterface. I would waste the revenge from counterface. And since he wasn't a defense type monster, I decided to go with two sets of guard. Uh, all of them with basically with crit rate on them because like I said, he doesn't awaken into crit rate. So he needs a lot of crit rate in order to make sure that every hit crits. This is probably the last time you're going to see this comp as in today's video because it kills everything. It, it doesn't lose. It, I mean, unless of course someone puts illusion defense. I'm not stupid to bring defense scaling units in illusion defense, right? But it always works. Okay, I'm gonna prove it to you. I'm gonna bring it against any comp and it's gonna work, all right? I think the only way we lose against this Sierra one is if Orion, I'm gonna my Wind Panda, but with high resistance on both Wind Panda and Driller. And Driller, okay? Because he awakens into resistance. It's really hard. It's really hard for me to get uh, uh, armor broken right now. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do this, right? We're gonna kill, I would say we should kill o Sierra first, yeah? Because the bomb said, oh my lord, all right, we're gonna do this then. I see trees of green, red roses too. I see them blue for me. Oh, <laughs> counterfeit! Why did you have to fly, fly? We're gonna pound this guy. One, two, the ten thousand, ten thousand. <laughs> I mean, obviously, Sierra doesn't have armor, right? Sierra doesn't have armor, so. That was gonna hit really hard, but 10,000 per hit. <laughs> did that hit for six or did that hit for an eight? I don't even know. It doesn't matter though. It doesn't matter. Even if it hit for six, it's still 60,000. It don't even need to be a Ciara. If it's even if it's a Rikesh, it dies. It dies because what happens? Okay, when I run this comp over here, the first armor break landed by my Wind Panda. That itself, it's gonna deal about 10,000 damage. So even if, let's say, a Rikesh, a really tanky unit, it's still gonna die. So this is still... And the counters... <laughs> you can keep healing all you want, Cammy. It's so good. It's so safe. I know that Wind Panda is not farmable. I mean, neither, neither is Driller, but I would say Driller is way easier to get than, obviously, than Wind Panda. You can replace. Uh, you can you can still replace Wind Panda with something else. I would say Ramhan. <gasps> Ramahan, we've got to do it. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I think Rama. Let's try Ramahan later. All right. First, let's uh, let's get rid of this thing first. Um, I would say give myself some speed here. Um, who do I want to kill? I want to take out the armor breaker, which is Frigate. I don't care about Iris. I don't. I don't really care about Iris at all. Nope. So we're gonna do this, and it's gonna chunk him down to half. And he does bombardment because Drill is the armor breaker, right? With the armor breaker out of the way. Oh, uh, wait a second. I mean, Driller. I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean, forget, right? With forget out of the way, there's no armor break. There is no way. It's gonna be like RTA, right? There is no way that these two guys with the, with their whatever damage. Sure, one of them's on destroy, but I don't really care. Like, right now, Monkey's at 10 stacks. He's gonna get another turn because Raccoony being Raccoony, super good. Just gives turns, cleanses stuff, clears debuffs. Sugoi, so good. It's just, I think I'm one of the later, uh, I, I had Raccoon a long time, but I haven't been using him extensively, a lot. But I'm starting to realize how good he really is, even in RTA. That I should consider putting even better runes on Raccoon because it's a nat 3 and you know the pain it causes someone when you, you, you have a lineup of nat 5 and they have to ban off Raccoon. I know that feeling, you know. So the best plus two, let's see. We replace Feng Yan, okay, with Ramahan. Wow, is it there's an Irish to silence me though? That's a little scary, to be honest. That's a little scary, but 
It's experimental, right? If we never try, we never know whether it's good or not. Where the fuck's my Ramahan though? Yeah, right. <laughs> Here it is. Okay, so Ramahan leader. Wait, is there any other leader skill? I don't really want to give Ramahan the... Alright, Ramahan leader then. The second one, uh, we've got the uh, Wind Monkey, uh, Wusa, uh, I mean... I... Should I Zeros this one? I think it's been a while since we tried to Zeros something. So let's Zeros this one. It's gonna be... Do or die on turn one for the Zeros comp, but that's not the highlight here is whether or not Mr. Ramahan can work in place of Wind Panda. Okay, we resisted the silence, that's beautiful. Counterface is up. Ciara. <laughs> Alright, I tell you what, I tell you what. Ciara, stand up. No hurry. We go on this guy. Okay, pound this guy. How many? Ding, 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 ding. Everything that kills me makes me feel alive. Ding, 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 ding. Six hits. It was six hits, okay? Uh, you know what? Here's what I think. Uh, uh, what's his face? Did we, did this guy seal magic me? I don't know. Uh, we, we gotta give this guy the turn, alright? Go, go stun this guy up. I don't think we need defense break here. I don't think we need defense break, just immediate smother. Alright, 18,000, it's gonna kill. You don't need, and you get an additional turn after that. Yes, and then we can just auto this. So, it still kind of works. I would have loved to see, uh, uh, no, actually, it worked out. It worked out. I would have loved to see the damage Ramahan can do because I switched Ramahan's build up a little bit. I give him a bit more speed, so he doesn't hit hard now, but I think he can still do a respectable 40,000. Uh, we'll have to see. Maybe we'll give it another shot later and see how it goes. Right, Zayros comp. Wusha does that. Probably his monkey's gonna move first. I don't care. We got shield will. Yeah, we got shield will. Perna. Okay, come on. Come on, Triton. Prove to me that I don't really need a Tiana. Nice. Okay, Galleon. Prove to me why everyone wants you. That doesn't have you. That's good. Okay, Zeros. Time to kill everything. 47 on Perna, but only 27 on the Wind Monkey because of the Wind Monkey passive. I mean, Wind Monkey. I mean, Perna is generally paper, right? Generally paper. Just do this. This one's in the back. There's no way Wusa wins this. Because Triton is win. Triton does good damage, Zeros is gonna crit him anyway for 23,000. Okay, this one's in the back. I wanna test out something that someone in the comments told me. So he said go K-Moon and then go Grago, right? So I go double fire and then I go uh, Grago and K-Moon. So because there's no presence of Armor Breaker, the bomb is always going to be on Grago. And then K-Moon shield is gonna shield Grago, so Grago will take zero damage throughout. And I can just decide anything I want. Uh, preferably an armor breaker for this last slot. There is only one person for the job. It's gonna be Ra'ok. Okay, this is gonna be a long guild war because I mean, come on, you expect Ra'ok to armor break a Hodam or Chasun? It's never going to happen, okay? It's never going to happen. Now, what about the second one? Um, this is something I think it's really lucianable. I mean, considering these guys, they don't have a lot of HP. But uh, yeah, we I want to play with Driller. The thing is here, there is uh, a lot of immunity from this Amelia uh, unicorn thingy, right? So I can't possibly driller this one. I mean, I say that, but I'm still gonna driller him, <laughs> okay? I'm still gonna drill him. I say that, but you know, I think about it. That comp is kind of strong. It's not really gonna lose to Amelia, whatever, whatever. Okay, so let's see. Let's see the- oh no! The shield is going on Rook. Rook has less HP than Groco. Oh, mistakes were made. Okay, here's what we do. We, we go on this guy, okay? So now the first bomb goes on Groco. Groco takes 20%. Right. So the next shield should... Okay, there's two procs. That's not bad. The next shield, shield should always go on to Groco. Alright? And then he should never take any damage at all, ever. Wow, this CR is going crazy, though. Ever take any damage. Oh my god, that revenge on Hodam! I'm tempted now to go for Hodam, but is there Fallen Blossoms? Is there? Oh, uh, let's find out. Oh, no. Rob doesn't give a shit! <laughs>
<laughs> oh god! He does not give a shit about the fallen blossoms! That's it, guys! That's it! That will serve one revenge prop into a triple hit. <laughs> and that's it! There's no more point down there. And this Sierra is slowly, slowly but surely getting destroyed by the, you know, the destroy rune set. <laughs> On my. Oh, there we go. There, she's gone. So this came on Grago car. Pretty decent. Yeah? Pretty decent. It's a really good Sierra tank, I think, if you bring double fire. It works. It actually works. Okay. Uh, counter face to begin with. Straight away. Yeah? We want to revenge whoever attacks us. Oh, he goes human form. But it doesn't matter. Does it matter? Oh, we can kill. Hey! We can kill this one. Yeah! I'm just gonna kill it. Outright kill it. Okay, I'm just gonna outright kill it. I'm gonna pound it right here. It's overkill. It's way overkill. <laughs> right? To pound him, it's, uh, it's overkill. But uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. What else am I gonna do here? I am going to... Should I... Nah, I don't know what I wanna do. I, I feel like I can... I feel like I wanna give uh, attack bar to this guy. Right? And then just pop in here. Oh! Oh, we didn't have my break once! So we can't pop in here. And Theobas goes twice! Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no! I mean, I'm gonna pop Endure here. I don't care. I'm gonna trade my homunculus. I'm gonna wait. Can we stun Theomars? If we can. Yoohoo! Okay. 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 So now. Um. I'm gonna heal. And then this guy's gonna heal himself. Self cleanse, so to speak. And then counterface. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm gonna do the attack bar reduction here. It's gonna kill Theomars 11,000. And I think... I think I have Pound. I would like to think so. I don't know. I think I have Grounded. I mean, Pound. Does... Do I? Do I have Pound? Does it matter? I do have Pound. Sayonara. Even on a defense type unit, we deal 30,000. So yeah. No regrets making Driller. I think it's a fun unit to play with. It's a 3 star. That hits any elements. That's the beauty of it. Time for a random review of the day. No lightning. Wind bounty hunter. I would not six star Roger. Like I said, if you're a nat 3, you better do some crazy damage or be tanky like Driller. Okay? Or you better ignore defense. You must be situationally good for a certain reason. And this guy's squishy. You need RNG for ignore defense. Removes only one beneficial effect. Which can be a shield buff or something, you know what I'm saying? And then this one is random enemies, so I don't think reliable for PvP, no. Alright, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye!